So here is an example we're going to do together to encode. Um, although encoding, I haven't encountered any encoding process for Morbit on the actual exam yet, but uh, it is an important process to learn just so we get familiar with the entire process. So we're going to encode you rock with the keyword Christmas. So uh, here is a note. Um, between each individual letter within a word uh, to denote separation of two different letters, you're going to use an X um, as a space filler almost, and then between each word for the space, you're going to put two X's. Uh, all right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out the, the key. So with Christmas, first thing we're going to do, we're going to line up uh, the Morse code, not to decode Christmas into Morse codes, but uh, you're going to put three dots, three dashes, and three X's. And then you go dot dash X, dot dash X, dot dash X. Okay, so uh, once we change these uh, change Christmas into numbers, this is going to be what each individual number is going to map onto. Uh, it'll be useful later. The second step we're going to do is we are going to rank each individual letter and uh, the word Christmas by their uh, sequence in the actual alphabet. So for example, since A is the starter of the alphabet, we go are going to name it 1. What comes after that in this letter will be C. C is the second earliest, so we put a 2. Uh, in this manner, we're going to put 3 under H, 4 under I. If you want to help ease the process for you, you can always list all the numbers in uh, these letters, and then you can see which one is the smallest, so that's going to uh, go with the ranking as well. So notice that there are two S's in this word. Um, so let's go to fill, fill in R first, and then comes S. So uh, here's what we're going to do. Oops, sorry. M should be first. M, and then R will be 6. So the first S is going to have the smaller number, so 7. The second S, appearing later in the word, is going to have uh, number 8. And then T is the last letter, so 9. So in this case, we can get to uh, the result that, for example, 2 is going to map onto 2 dots, and then 3 is dot dash, um, and then 4 is going to be dash dot, etc, etc. Next step, we're going to transfer UROC into Morse codes. So Y dash Notice that I put an X here to note that this is the end of the letter Y, and we're going to start O. Another X, and then U, and then two X's for this space, then R. I'm going to just start right here, O, C, All right, and then we are going to separate this sequence series of Morse codes by two. So we're going to group them by two. I'm going to use uh, a black marker to show. So count two, count two, etc. Okay. And then we are going to map this onto numbers. So what is dash dot? Dash dot is a four. Dash dash here is seven. X dash is one. And then seven. X dot is five. Dot dash is three. Double X is an eight. Dot dash is another three. Dot x is a 6, 7, dash x is a 9, dash dot is a 4, 
another four, x dash is one, and then dot dash is three. Note that you have to read from top to bottom and then transfer it into from left to right here. And so the final answer of encoding would be this uh, sequence of numbers 417, uh, 4717538, etc., etc. And that is how you encode with the Morbid Cipher.